Hello everyone, it's Digital Girl here with eStoreKings.com, and today we're going to be looking at creating email headers in Canva. Email headers are great in that they add a little bit of your own style and touch to your email. And of course, as we all know, when it comes to email marketing, personalization is incredibly important and can lead to, you know, growing a larger audience as well as increased revenue. So let's go ahead and get you set up with some new email header banners. Once you're logged into Canva, and if you don't have Canva, definitely check the description for a link to a free trial. A lot of the time you're gonna go up to templates and search for whatever it is that you're trying to design. But email headers are not in this section here. So we have to go up to the search bar in the top right. So go ahead and type in email header. and you'll be taken to the email header template page. They're all 600 by 200 pixels, perfectly sized for your email newsletter. Now, as you can see, there are many, many to choose from, almost 600 templates actually. If you'd like, you can sort by color. So let's say you have a color that's in your logo or part of your brand identity that you'd like to use. So you can go ahead and sort that way. Or we can just look at them all in one shot. Once you find one that works for you, go ahead and click on it or hit the three dots to find out more information on this template. If you expand the information, you'll find what colors are used along with the fonts. And again, that 600 by 200 size, which they all are. So uh, don't worry about that too much. If you do like it, go ahead and click on use this template. And from here, we kind of get into the fun part, which is modifying it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is edit the text. So to do that, go ahead and double click on the area that you would like to edit, and then simply replace it with the text that you'd like to use. Now I quite like this font as well as the size of the text, so I am just going to leave it. But if you wanted to change the font, you certainly could. All you would have to do is click on the text that you'd like to edit, head on up to the font tab or font drop down, and play around with different fonts available over on the left hand side. You can also do things like make it bold or unbold, underline. You can also make all letters capitalized or uppercase. And same thing with the font underneath, you could play around with the different options there. So the next thing we're going to do is update the background. And to do that, simply click on the background. And as you can see here, there are two sections in the background. It looks like it's two images kind of merged together or placed side by side actually. So you could remove the background if you wanted, or simply play around with the color. And of course, we'll have to apply the same color on the right hand side. So that's just one example of an email header that you can use. We can also play around with a few more templates just to get an idea of the different types of headers we have available to us in Canva. Over on the left-hand side, we're already on the templates tab. So we can go ahead and look through them to see if there are any others that we like. Once you find one that you like, go ahead and click on it. And we'll go ahead and start by editing the text. So again, double click. Now, because this one has a background image, we can certainly replace it with another stock image. You can also upload an image from your computer if you'd rather use an image that you already own, or you can hit the photos tab and select from a wide variety of stock photos. You can have a look through, or you can search by topic. You know, we could put something kind of generic or abstract. or we can search for something such as a, maybe a computer. 
and all you have to do is drag and drop over onto the page here. Now this is quite nice. I do like it in that it's a laptop as in you're, you know, receiving the email. And I like the pen and paper as well because it's, you know, we're talking about a newsletter. To make the font stand out a little bit more, we can definitely make the background a bit darker. So click on the background and head on up to adjust and then drop the brightness down a little bit. And then now we can read the text a little bit better. Now I'm going to make one last email header just to kind of give you an idea as to what kind of options you have with Canva. So let's head on back up to templates and uh, give this one here a try. So we'll go ahead and update the text. And if you'd like, you can change the font. So let's start with the color. Let's say we want to change it to a different color. You head on up to the color button up here. And then from there, you can change it around. And you can choose from a set of default colors. You can also choose a very specific color. So let's say you had the color code on hand. You know, for example, you were pulling a color from your logo. You would want the exact color. You can enter it into here. You can also choose from the color wheel and get very specific with the colors. Again, you can also change the font if you'd like. And if you'd like, we could also change the background color. So click on the background here and head on up to the color. And from there, again, you can play around with the different colors available. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and change this picture here. So this picture is not the background. It's simply a picture sitting on top of the document. So what we can actually do is just go ahead and delete it. And to delete, you either select it and hit the backspace button or hit the trash can in the top right hand corner. And then let's head on over to photos again and let's look for a store photo. So for example, let's say we want people to know that we're back open for business. We can certainly add this and then to make it take up the entire width, simply drag all the way to the right. And then this of course needs to move up. So we'll go ahead and adjust that. And to adjust the placement, double click, and then you can move it around. So now that we've enlarged this image, it kind of looks like it doesn't work all that well. So I'm going to try another image. And to do that, I'll simply drag and drop another image on top. So something like this would work. We can try another one just for an example. And I kind of like the, the last one. So I'm going to hit Command Z or Control Z if you're on a Windows system and leave it at that. So if you're happy with these headers and let's say, you know, let's say number two was your favorite and you wanted to go ahead and use it, we'll go up to the download button in the top right. You can certainly leave it on PNG. You do have the option to change it to JPEG as well, but I'm going to leave it as a PNG. And you have the option to either download them all or you can simply download the one that you plan on using. So let's say I want to use page two, go ahead and click done and download. And that is how you design an email header using Canva. If you'd like to see more Canva tutorials or more email marketing tutorials, definitely hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching.